Hey guys, Daniel here. Uh, we're going to do today a quick demonstration of the VPAC OBD2 diagnostic scanner. Uh, we're going to show you how to use it with both uh, an iPhone and an Android phone and um, show you some apps that work with it and show you how to clear a code. If you have a different scanner, the process is quite similar, so you can still watch this even if you don't have the VPAC. Your first step is to locate where you plug in um, your VPAC or your, your OBD2 scanner. Now it's a small device, so you're going to have to look. Most vehicles, uh, it's located somewhere near the pedals here, under, near the driver's seat. Now if you look on my Volkswagen here, you can kind of see a purple um, connector there. The connector there, that's where I'm going to plug in my scanner. This particular scanner connects over Wi-Fi. So I've got my iPhone here set up and mounted. So I'm going to go into settings and I'm going to go into Wi-Fi. And I've already connected to this particular scanner, so you'll see that I'm, I'm connected to Wi-Fi there. It shows up as Wi-Fi OBD2. Now, the app that I've chosen uh, to scan is called, take a look here, OBD Car Doctor. Now, that's available in the App Store, and I believe that's available for free. Um, it's sort of a limited use. So, OBD Car Doctor loads. I'm going to click Connect, and we'll see what happens here. and it looks like I've been connected over, over Wi-Fi. I have the car in accessory mode, but you can also start your vehicle and get a little bit more information when, you're, when your vehicle is running. So now that my vehicle is running, I have a check engine light that's been bothering me for the last couple weeks, and it's time to find out uh, what it is. So I'm gonna load up diagnostic trouble codes, and we're gonna see what comes up here on my Volkswagen. So it looks like it's a secondary air, injector, air injection system incorrect flow detected. Uh, P0411, which is a common error on Volkswagens. Now I have two options here. I can save it just so that I have that as a record on my, on my uh, through the app, or I can clear that code. Now, if you clear a code, you, you should make sure you know what you're doing. Usually it makes more sense to go through some troubleshooting steps first, uh, then clear a code. That way, if the code comes back, you know you've been through some of the processes. Um, I wouldn't suggest clearing a code unless you absolutely know what you're doing. Now, while using this app, there's a couple cool things you can do. If we go into dynamic parameters here, we can take a look at a few different things. We can take a look at engine RPM here in real time. And if I accelerate here, um, it also shows up on there on the app. So you get a few, we get a little bit of engine information as well. We've got speed, for example. If I was moving, we'd be able to get that. Um, air intake temperature, it doesn't look like there's any data, or it looks like I changed the screen too fast there. Um, Distance traveled while well, malfunction indicator lamp is on. So, looks like I've been driving for 941 kilometers. Not the best, but you get the idea. This app is actually pretty cool and it's pretty useful what you can learn about your vehicle just using uh, the simple OBD2 connector. Okay, so we're gonna try this now on an Android device. Now you'll see in my Wi-Fi settings here, I'm connected to um, the OBD2 scanner. I'm go back. Now the app that I've chosen to use for this demonstration is Torque Light. So I'm going to click on Torque Light. And I did have to, in the settings, I did have to change the, the type of connection uh, from Bluetooth to Wi-Fi. Bluetooth is, is the default. Now if we go to settings here, fault codes, uh, show logged faults, it's requesting the code. And you'll see that we got the same code uh, that we did on using the other app on the Android or on the sorry on the iPhone, and we have the same code description there. Now, if you click web, you'll get a little bit of a description of what the what the code is. But I'm just going to hit close, and that's pretty much all I need to know. I believe through this app, you can also clear the code um, as well. So there you have it. You should be able to use any uh, Wi-Fi OBD2 scanner. So in summary, I highly recommend one of these. It could save you hundreds of dollars in diagnostic costs at, uh, at a local mechanic or at the dealership, especially if you know what you're doing. If you're familiar with these codes, you know what they mean, you can look them up, you have some automobile or mechanical knowledge, uh, then it's definitely worth your time and investment to grab one of these. I think I got this one on Amazon for about $20 Canadian, which is an absolute bargain. You can find them for a little bit cheaper. So highly recommend one of these. Uh, my only bit of advice is don't clear codes. Make sure you, uh, make sure you do a little bit of diagnostic work first. Uh, before you clear codes, that way you know um, if you've addressed the problem or not. Okay, thanks guys.